hello again. Uh, I got some spare time in the field and thought I'd finally start doing some uh, reviews uh, on this Stone Glacier 3300. One thing I have a really hard time giving reviews on is is boots and, and backpacks. I feel like these are a couple pieces of gear that you really have to use before you can really uh, give people feedback. So I've, I've put a couple uh, good years on this pack. I uh, wanted to be able to get a couple animals out with it, uh, test that load shelf and and give it some uh, good weight to see how it performed. So uh, let's get into the, the nitty gritty and look at a few features of this pack and, and let you know a little bit what I think about it. So right now I've got this loaded up for pretty much a, a seven day backpacking trip. Um, easily I could, I could pair that up to a few more days or, or pair it down as well. But we'll go through and kind of strip this pack apart all the way down to more of, of like a day pack. And I'll show you the features that I, that I like and, and what I think this pack works for. So, so hang in there with us. But first I'm just going to do a little spin here and uh, kind of show you this pack as it's, as it's loaded up for pretty much one of my normal, uh, normal backpacking trips so you can see what that uh, looks like. Um, so I hope you got a good little peek there, but we'll also show you more close-up shots and videos as we, as again, we take this, this thing apart. So hang in there and uh, let's have some fun. All right, so here's that bag fully loaded. Uh, this is kind of what I call haul mode. Um, Stone Glacier, I mean, it's pretty amazing. I'll show you how this will, will convert down from haul mode into what I call day pack or day bag mode. Uh, same thing most people call it anyhow. Um, but right now we're, we're geared up again for about a seven day trip. You could extend more with this. You're not going to get more gear in the main bag, but you still got a lash point on the bottom here for gear. You could easily transfer uh, your sleeping bag or sleeping pad from here to here and create a little bit more room in the main bag. Um, in there. In addition, this is what I do with my food bag on front here. You could extend that up and easily add more days worth of food into this pack. So uh, I could see this pack uh, handling up to, to nine, ten days, uh, maybe even a couple weeks if you really pared a few things down um, and thought about your, your meal planning and stuff like that. But we're not going to get too much into the gear itself. If you want to see what kind of gear I carry, on a, on a backpacking trip, we were doing a, a gear review for that simultaneously. So that'll seem somewhat similar to this in terms of what you're looking at here because I'm doing those videos at the same time. But anyhow, let's just show you what happens. I pack this in and once I get to camp, then I just start paring this down to get it ready for my day hunting. So first, it's just I got these front buckles which are very handy to take off the food there. This there then just comes off. I can hang that if there's bears in the area um, or whatnot. This rain jacket's going to go back into my bag. We're going to very quickly take off this top panel, and that's all it takes. Two uh, two webbing belts that come through there, and uh, then this clips onto front buckles that stay on your pack. And so on this, I just make sure I uh, pack camp gear so that stays in camp. You can come across, unbuckle the sides, bow comes off, you're ready to hunt. On this side, they have a scope pouch um, that you can either use for a scope. Where I hunt, I tend to mainly just use binoculars. Uh, I have a tripod for that that helps, helps a lot as well. But uh, on my pack in, I actually will use this for a, a water bag. And there's a little extra room in the bottom of it uh, for essentials. Uh, but you can see there, you can fit a scope in there. But I just uh, carry it as a hydration bag. So when I'm packing in, uh, I don't have to keep water in there uh, with my, uh, my gear. So that's going to stay in camp. And we're going to open the main bag. This has really nice access. The whole front comes down to open up. We're gonna take out our inside gear, rain pants, gaiters, sleeping bag, sleeping setup, my clothes. Then these other things are gonna stay in here. I've got uh, a puppy in there. I've got my game bags in there. I've got my emergency kit in there, and I've got a, uh, another tarp in there. Uh, again, uh, look at my uh, 
bag list, my gear list for backpacking, and I'll explain all of these in a little more detail, but here we're mainly focusing on this bag. So then you can buy this as an accessory. It's a little water pouch. So my water will slide back in there. You can then take that drink tube and it uh, feeds right through a port in the top of the pouch. Normally, the stuff I just leave in there, I don't take it out. If I'm expecting rain in the back country, or if it's cold, my rain layers go back in the bag. And then zip up the main compartment again. buckle everything back down. The one thing I do wish, and I've kind of done that here, you can see these have kind of scraped off paint on them. I wish they color coded their buckles a different color, especially when you're tired and getting ready first thing in the morning. It'd be really nice if some of the buckles were, uh, were green, some were black, some were gray. Uh, just help you to identify your buckles a, a little bit more if you uh, have a pack like this, you might know what I'm talking about. It's not the end of the world. I just spray painted mine a little bit and it helps me make sure I'm doing the, the right buckle at the right time. But then we're just going to cinch these all back down. And you can see how very quickly you can go from what I call backpacking mode into, uh, into day backing, packing mode there in a very streamlined pack. This is what I call extreme day packing. I have everything I need in here. If I were to get caught out in the woods and, and at nighttime, I could spend a night out there and be very comfortable um, until I got back to camp. Um, but this could also be pared down as well. Um, but we'll talk more about this pack and I'll show you some of the other features as we uh, continue our review of this pack. I really like uh the bag on this pack because uh, it's very versatile. I wanted a, a bag that could get down to four pounds for a day pack but then also uh, gear up for at least a week's worth of, of gear in the field when you put a top lid on this and uh, use uh, some of the straps. But before I get too much into that because each of us kind of probably likes different bags, uh, here's the, the frame system on this. Uh, uh, Stone Glacier offers several different frames. Uh, this one here, you can see has the uh, Velcro attachments on the back here. This makes it really nice because you can uh, fully adjust uh, these to any, any length. A lot of packs kind of have a chain system where you can do it in little, uh, little like two inch increments. This one really adds a lot of versatility and uh, no, didn't notice any slippage at all, even when loading this up with about 120 plus pounds with a all my gear, a hind quarter and a, a, a elk rack on top of that. Um, I was probably maxing out at least maybe 120. Didn't hear a, a seam on the bag pop and didn't see any uh, slippage in the Velcro. Same with the, the lumbar support, uh, fully, fully Velcro adaptable. So you can shift that up and down to really, really fit into the, the small of your back. The waist belts on this, I'm really starting to like what uh, hunting companies are doing. It, it reminds me of what we see in the backpacking industry more. And that's kind of this, uh, this two belt system. It allows you to put a little tension on this to get a little bit more cupping of, uh, of the hip instead of having that webbing uh, come straight across where it tends to put uh, more friction on the, the hip. Um, this is not one of the most elegant ones I've seen. Um, I'll show you a picture uh, here. This is the Osprey pack. And you can see how this comes in here. This is one of my uh, favorite backpacking hip belts. It's just uh, really comfortable um, and how it comes together. It also has a two inch webbing, which allows uh, attachment of gear a little better. These little small uh, one inch webbings, you can attach stuff to, but as we know, when you're attaching uh, knives and pistols and things like that to, to these kinds of things, they do flop around a little bit more. Uh, I'd love to see kind of more of a, a two inch webbing system coming into this like we see in the in the Osprey. So here's another look at that, uh, that hip harness in place. I don't have it uh, tightened up here um, as we saw in the, the last video. And I don't mean to be super hard on this because in terms of hunting belts, this is the more of the one of the more elegant designs that I've seen. 
Um, it has this kind of uh, lever lock system here for tightening. I'll just show that to you here where you can kind of pull on the hip belt and it tightens it at the buckle. It's uh, kind of handy giving you kind of one-handed tightening of the, the, the uh, buckle system while you're packing. Um, uh, really locks it in, locks the pack in. Uh, to loosen, you can just kind of slide it out of this little uh, attachment here and then yank on the buckle and it gives you kind of similar one-handed uh, uh, release of the buckle. That's really nice in the field because usually we kind of have a, a bow in our hand or something like that. So it really gives us a way one-handed to just kind of tighten things down uh, without setting, setting your gear down. So really, really well thought out design there. So the bag itself, uh, we'll see a little bit more uh, when I, I show you me taking it apart from a, a hunting trip that I typically do. But uh, this is the Solo 3300. There's a lot of different bags in this series. Um, I really like this one. It's uh, fairly simple, has one extra pocket at the top and then just a main compartment that I have a, a water reservoir you can add. Uh, the water reservoir is interchangeable for bags and other stuff, for, so fairly adaptable. This pack also has a good deal of lash points, as you can see, which really allows it to expand out and carry a lot. On this bag, um, I'm not gonna open it up and get into the, uh, the functionality of the, the load shelf. Stone Glacier already has a, a great video showing you uh, how to open the bag, how to use it, how to, how to put a, a quarter in there. And more, I just wanna talk about the functionality in that regard as the nice thing about this, bags in the past, I've had to lash the quarter to the outside of the bag on these uh, two straps you see on, on front here and here. Uh, other bags have similar things, but what that does is it puts the weight of the meat out away from your back and your gears in close to your back really kind of throws off your center of gravity. The nice thing about that load shelf is this whole top bag comes away and you can fit that quarter right in next to your back. Really helps out with your center of gravity, keeping you balanced on the, on the pack out. I loaded this load shelf, uh, like I said earlier, with uh, at least 120 pounds and it just handled really well uh, compared to other packs that I've had on. I know other packs are now coming out with similar designs and it, it makes sense because it just really does help with your center of gravity, keeping you balanced on your, your packs in and out. So uh, also check out Stone Glacier's video on how actually to use that, that load shelf um, from the, the experts there. But I just thought I'd talk a little bit about the load shelf itself and uh, that I think it does work uh, really, really well in this design. So let's just uh, kind of summarize and go over some of my final thoughts on this pack. Um, out of uh, out of all the packs I've used, I'm really enjoying this pack. I, I like the the versatility to pare it down to a, a lightweight pack and then uh, bring it up to to more of a expedition style pack uh, if you desire. Um, Stone Glacier, like I've said throughout the video, also makes different bags. This is uh, one of their simpler ones with just a single accessory pocket and then the main compartment. Um, but it's very versatile if you don't mind carrying a little extra weight. They do have a, a lot of other bags with a lot more room in them uh, if you so desire. Uh, but I, I tend to go pretty light and fast. And so this bag really uh, covers a lot of what I do in the, the back country. Uh, the X-curve frame is really robust. Can handle packing out a, an elk, no problem. Um, with that, that load shelf in, in this design works out really, really well. The, the frame is very comfortable. I've never had any problems with comfort and uh, as we showed in the video, has good uh, adjustability uh, to really fine tune it for your needs. Uh, helps out really well there. I really like the hip belt design uh, for, uh, for a, a hunting pack. I think it's come a long ways in making uh, that much more comfortable, especially when you're, you're lifting those heavy loads and, and packing out an animal. Uh, the construction is is very hefty and can handle uh, lot, lots of weight as the company advertises as well. When I've packed uh, animals out with this, uh, again, it's just held up really, really well um, in terms of, of what it does. So I'll flash a little image here of me uh, packing out an elk, a little glamour shot there just so you can show it kind of loaded up a little bit. Um, but in terms of this pack, I, I had a few small gripes about uh, uh, buckle color and a little bit about hip belt. I'd like to see a little larger webbing on those uh, side hip belts for, 
for attachment points for, for accessories, but uh, otherwise I give this pack extremely high marks. I've, I've really enjoyed using it uh, over a lot of the other packs I've, I've used. I'm kind of a gear hound, so I've, I've definitely used about five or six different packs over, over the years, and uh, so far this one has uh, been by far uh, my favorite. So anyways, if this fits the bill for your style of hunting, I would encourage you to check it out. Um, otherwise, have a, a great hunting season this year.